Hi, I'm Michael. I'm with Lumens Integration, the portable ladybug document camera company. Uh, today I'm over here at the Touchboards offices in New Jersey and I want to introduce to you the DC-265, our top selling ladybug camera. Uh, one of the nice features about having a gooseneck camera is I have the ability to show you the buttons on the camera and as you can see with our included remote, most all the buttons on the camera base are also the same as the buttons on the camera itself. Uh, one of the key buttons that we'll be using and talking about right now is just the freeze button. What that freeze button allows me to do, uh, when I push the freeze button, obviously the picture is going to freeze for you. So when I move the page out of the frame, the document remains the same. That gives me the ability to change my page, release my freeze, and maybe now we're going to work on this particular lesson here. So I can freeze my image, change my image, and release my freeze. Another really handy use of the freeze button, um, if we were working out a problem, we would be able to, for instance, with this particular thing, uh, sentences, why do you think it's better? And you could have one due to detail of the story, and I can freeze that now, and if I wanted to come back and list a number two or a number three, I could just have those appear as we continue and release the freeze. Another very useful feature, in addition to the freeze button, one that I like to use a lot because I like to walk around the room when I teach, is my rotate button. When I rotate the camera, it gives me the ability to stand on any side of the camera or any side of the table. So I push the rotate button, now we're at 180 degrees. This is also very helpful when a student comes up to the other side of your desk or podium to try to answer a problem. And then of course I can rotate that back to zero and now the document is back and oriented properly for me. After our rotate button, one of the features I think a, a teacher might use quite a bit, and again I'll show you on the face of the camera, it's down here in the bottom right hand corner. You'll notice the three buttons that I've talked about the most already are listed here, kind of in the order that I think are important. Uh, the capture button is down in the bottom right hand corner. What that allows me to do is use my 50 megabyte internal hard drive. When I push the capture button, you may notice in the upper left hand corner of the screen, we get an hourglass. I can simply turn the page hit the capture, turn the page, hit the capture, and then when I push my source button, I'm gonna get icons of the captured images in the order they were captured. I can then use my arrow keys and toggle through my captured images, use my select button to enter, and now I can toggle back through the images simply by pushing the advance button in the, in the base of the camera. So those are three features that I think are most useful. However, we do have one or two more. Let me push my source button, and when I push my source button, we come back to our live image. Again, I'll show you on the base of the camera. Here are two more buttons that I think are pretty handy. One of them is the pan button. One of them is the record button. The pan button gives me the ability, when I push the button, to pan around on the page. This particular pan, it zooms to the center of the page. And now I can zoom around using the um, in the left and right and up arrows to pan my screen. You'll notice in the bottom left hand corner of the or right hand corner of the screen it gives you an indication of where you are. By pushing the pan button again it zooms back out and we're back to a normal image. Uh, the record button. With our record button this particular camera is what we call our multimedia ladybug. The multimedia features of the camera and again, it's going to be a little more difficult to see, but right above my finger here, there's a little pinhole in the camera. That pinhole is actually a microphone. The microphone quality of this camera is superb. Uh, using the microphone button and our record button, I have the ability when I push the record button to record audio and video directly to my SD card. No need for software, no need for a computer. But this camera also includes a built-in SD card slot. That SD card slot allows you re to record up to an hour of um, high quality video per gigabyte of SD card storage. Um, there's also a 50 megabyte internal storage that allows you to record video and or store up to 240 still images. Uh, the, the 265 Ladybug uses any SD card, any quality, any size, and I'll demonstrate for you that now. We have the SD card in the slot. I'm going to push the record button, and what I'd like to talk to you now about is our remote control. So I only want to do this presentation one time. Um, our credit card size remote control does come with a lanyard, so you can put it around your neck. On the back of the remote control, we have a little slot here for a CR2025 watch style battery. 
Uh, now when I'm ready to stop the recording, I'll push the record button one more time. That stops the recording and then I can push my source button and the extension of the last file you might notice is a .mov file. The .mov is a, a QuickTime movie file. When I select that, we are now playing back our video. It is full motion video and we have audio, but right now we need to connect a set of speakers and we'd be able to hear that audio. So we have full motion video with audio and our camera does have an output for um, speakers or connection to uh, maybe a more integrated audio system for your classroom. Um, I'm going to push my source button one more time. That comes back to our live image. And then we'll look at the base of the camera one more time and show you there's a few other buttons uh, that are important. One of them up here is the source button. That's what I've been pushing to select the input of the camera or the, and the output. And then our lamp button, of course, is here. Um, we've talked about the rotate, the freeze, the capture, the record, and the delete button is pretty self-explanatory. That deletes images and or videos that are stored. Our pan button, and then of course our menu button. Another very unique feature of our DC265 Ladybug camera is the ability to do time-lapse still photography within the camera. By selecting our menu and going into our settings, we can go in and choose in our capture mode, change that to a continuous mode, and then I have the ability to select one hour, two hour, four hour, eight, up to 24 hours of continuous capture, and then I can can change the capture intervals. What that allows me to do now is uh, maybe put a flower or maybe something that's gonna change over time, set the camera up, push the capture button, and then it will record a continuous 24 hour period and we can change those, those settings for intervals and playback. Uh, then by using another unique feature of the camera, and I'll show you on the remote control, the slideshow button is down here in the middle. When I select slideshow, the slideshow will then play back any of the images in the camera that are previously captured, and it'll do that in predetermined intervals. Right now, I'm pushed the slideshow button, and the default is playback one frame every one second. Um, I can go in and change that and actually create a mini PowerPoint type presentation simply by going into, again, the storage settings, and going into our slideshow, I can change the effect to a shutter and maybe delay every three seconds. And now when I push, again on my remote control, when I push the slideshow button, every three seconds I'm gonna get a shutter transition and that is continuous and it loops forever. So in any kind of application where you wanna show maybe a theme or maybe you just wanna show images of a field trip, this is an excellent tool for doing that. That is our slideshow feature. So now we've covered most of the unique features of our Ladybug DC265. Uh, a couple of more features you may want to know about the Lumens Integration camera lineup. All of our cameras come with a completely unlimited five-year warranty. Our warranty includes parts, it includes labor, it even includes our cold cathode or our LED lights, whatever lights are on the camera for the full five years of the camera. In addition to the completely unlimited five-year warranty, all of our cameras have an advanced replacement program or policy so in the event your camera does go down for whatever reason we will send you out a camera in advance of re receiving the return camera and that is for the full life of the camera not just the five years um, our cameras also all come with a completely unlimited training program so when you do purchase a, a handful of cameras we'd be happy to come out train your teachers and that is for the life of the camera again so you'll never be without uh, training or professional development for your staff for more information please go to touchboards.com